Hello, I'm State Senator Bruce Thompson and I have some great news. As an elected official, we have the opportunity to be the voice for those that often either have no voice or a voice that is silenced by another. That is to say, their protections or liberties are diminished by the execution of others. Today, with the support of 22 of my colleagues in the Senate, I introduced a bill seeking to prohibit smoking in a car when a child is present. You see, over 400 children perish each year as a direct result of secondhand smoke in close proximity. A child that is restricted to an automobile with no opportunity to escape is subject to and ultimately a victim to carcinogens. Respiratory infections, ear infections, and asthma are all substantiated results of being subjected to secondhand smoke in close proximity. You see, there's no true ventilation, so the effects are devastating. According to the CDC, secondhand smoke can contain more than 7,000 different chemicals. Many are toxic and known to cause cancer. When you consider the effects on a growing, developing child, the situation is even more serious. You see, my bill addresses this dangerous situation where a child is an innocent, captive audience in a car, sometimes several hours every week. I look forward to bringing you updates as this bill moves through the legislative process. This week, the Senate has passed several bills. Today, we passed Senate Bill 58, called the Georgia Leadership and Service Admissions Act, that encourages students to participate in ROTC programs within the state of Georgia. We also passed Senate Bill 79, which expands the pool to other family members entitled to resources to cover the funeral cost of a loved one that was a victim of a crime. Additionally, this bill also adds funeral expenses as funeral expenses continue to rise. We also had the privilege of honoring our veterans today with a special resolution. You see, today is the 40th anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War. Taking time to thank our veterans is something we can all do a lot more of. Yesterday, the Senate passed Senate Bill 19, which also helped veterans get college-level credit for their specialized work while they're enlisted. And then there's Senate Bill 62, which deals with the role of probate courts in fish and game violation cases. The Senate will continue to meet Thursday and Friday of this week, moving us through Legislative Day 19. As always, if there's anything I can do, please feel free to reach out to me by phone, email, or Facebook. Thank you, and God bless.